Virtual reality was first conceptualized in the mid-1990s. However, it's just always been one of those sort of cool sounding technologies that's never quite been realized. But with the recent advent of VR headsets like the Oculus Rift, now people are starting to find whole new applications for VR, such as a virtual reality social network. IB Times UK was given a special preview of VTime, a new virtual reality social network from Starship, a studio based in Liverpool. I asked my colleagues on the tech team to enter their virtual world with me, guided by creative director Paul Hollywood. Unlike existing worlds, such as Second Life and Otherverse, which are computer games, VTime is designed for users to hold conversations and share information while wearing VR headsets. Users download the VTime app, register an account, and then log on, placing their phone into a smartphone-based VR headset like Google Cardboard or the Samsung Gear VR. They can then choose how their avatar looks and have a conversation with other users with their voices, as well as sending emojis. All navigation in VTime is done by moving your head while wearing the VR headset. And if none of your friends are online, you can still enjoy VTime by chatting with a random user about trending topics in the hub area. The host can share images with the group from his or her smartphone, and Excel spreadsheets can be depicted as 3D visual graphs that everyone in the group can see. But for now, users can't walk around in the virtual space. There are limitations to virtual reality at the moment. In some respects, in, uh, with the way you can move around in a virtual environment, the way you can interact with a virtual environment. But at the moment, with VTime, we have purposely designed it to be a, you know, a communication tool that we can then expand into the technologies that are coming um, in the near future. And this is something that you, know, you don't do in normal everyday life in, in the real world. So it is almost like a playing out a little bit of a fantasy when you're in virtual reality. I first started working in virtual reality in 1995 and it was really exciting at that time virtual reality was just you know it was, it was an idea it was a movement of, of, of um, creativity but the hardware just wasn't good enough it was a really poor experience now we're on the cusp of virtual reality being embedded into everyday life so will anybody really use a virtual reality social network like vtime well the jury's still out and VTime will only be available to early adopters next month. However, with Facebook having purchased Oculus Rift, who knows, there could still be a great deal of promise in this space.